Thank you for joining again. Um, today I'm going to continue the series on starting a business. And the topic here is business ideas generation. Coming up with a business idea is relatively easy. However, having a um, great business idea might be difficult. It is important to the success and to your success that when starting out, you explore as many ideas as possible before deciding on the final one you will be taking forward. So in this video, I will be guiding you through the process of finding a great business idea how you can turn into a successful, profitable, and valuable business. I always like to start with a saying. I, I just go and find out on the internet who has, you know, the people who have said something about the topic I want to talk about. So here, yeah, um, Albert Camus says, all great deeds and all great thoughts have a ridiculous beginning. If you look at companies who are, that are very big right now and you search and you go to their beginning, you will be surprised at how they have grown. All great thoughts, all great deeds, all great businesses have a very small and ridiculous beginning. So just going right in into the topic for today, how to generate business ideas. Don't limit yourself to one business idea. That's the first point I want to clear and to talk about. Don't limit yourself to just one business idea. It is easy to settle on one idea. But to give yourself the best chance of coming up with a great business idea, you have to explore. Explore, compare, and then pick on one business idea moving forward. The next point I want to talk about under generating business ideas is turn your hobby into a business. The logical jump is to take a hobby, your hobby, and turn it into a business. Why would you want to turn your hobby into a business? Your hobby is something you already know a lot about. Your hobby is something that you are clearly very, very passionate about. And your hobby is clearly something you will know where to start. So, for example, you have a hobby in using balloons to decorate spaces, offices, and um, big halls. You have a hobby in doing that, or you have a hobby in baking, baking cakes. Turn that hobby into a business idea. Under one hobby, balloon making, decoration, or cake making, you can come up with different ideas. You can innovate and, you know, maybe color scheme or, you know, how you would deliver one or how you would, you can innovate and come up with different ideas under those two topics or one topic and explore, research into the, the topic that you have picked, write down your ideas and then pick one from one idea so you can generate a business idea from turning your hobby into a business another point i will be talking about under the generating business ideas is innovate in a traditional slow changing market how do you innovate in a traditional slow changing market Think about a field in business that hasn't seen much innovation in the last 10 to 20 years. 
This is often the case in non-tech industries that are slow to put forward change while the status quo remain profitable. These industries often have tremendous opportunities to change and to disrupt and bring into market technologies, innovations, systems and methods. For example, is recently we have Huber. Huber is a taxi company. However, we've had taxi companies a long time before Huber came. But Uber came into the market with their innovation. Before, when you want to book a, a, a taxi, you either look through your yellow pages or you, when you get to the town you're going, you're going to London, you, you ask there what is the number of the tax of, of a taxi company here. Or when you get there, you will see taxis already parked. But now you don't have to wait. You can plan. You just, what do you do from your app, your Huber app, you, which you have put in your name, your, um, your, everything about you and your card details. When you need a taxi, just put in that location where you are going, where you are to that where you're going, put that in, and you don't even have to say anything to the taxi driver. And they just call you and say they're on the way or they're here or they, they just ask you to tell you what kind of car to look out for. And then you go in. You don't have to even say anything. You get there. You don't need to pay physically. They've changed. They've innovated what has already been in the market. So you can generate business ideas by innovating in a traditional, slow-changing market. Another point that I would like to make in how to and under the um, generating business ideas is think about a global business. The world is now a global place. You have a business in China, you can operate anywhere in the world. You have a business in Africa, you can operate all over the world. It doesn't matter where you are operating from. It doesn't matter where you are recording or you are doing your business from. An example is a, a business in Africa, uh, in Nigeria. They are called Mount Zion Films. They, they don't want to do a course. They want to get, do a certificate course to people. They can do it from Nigeria and everyone from all over the world can participate. So generating business ideas, you think about a global business or maybe you have already started. Think about taking it global. You can generate business ideas or make your business better by thinking about a global business and taking your business Another point I would like to talk about under generating business ideas is copy other businesses and be better. It is unlikely that you will get a unique business that nobody has ever thought about in this world. It is unlikely. Unless you are in the forefront of technology, so, copy other businesses and make it better. Plenty of the world's biggest companies were not revolutionary. Yet, they came into market with developed players. They met developed players. They were already big players in the market. What they did was to outperform everyone else. You do not have to have the most original idea to create a brilliant business. You just have to do it better, put your own tweak on it. An example is Microsoft. They came out of nowhere and beat every other competitor to become the dominant operating system provider since the early 1990s. When they came out, they had just 5% share. There's another big business that had a very larger share of the market. However, with change, with innovation, 
with them being open to change and innovation, they took their business from 5% to dominating and being the, the, the dominant provider in that business sec sector. So, copy other businesses and be better. Think about ways that you can make yours better and innovative. Another way that you can generate business ideas is be cheaper than any other business in that sector that you have picked. Be cheaper than other businesses. You should look for areas where you can provide significant savings to the customers and your clients versus your competitors. These types of businesses grow incredibly fast, particularly during recessions. For example, Poundland is a great example of this kind of business. Since they started, they've used price as a primary differentiator to it to their competitors. Through offering the lowest price possible on a big range of consumer products, the business have grown. They've grown to a highly successful high chain, high street chain business. So think about a business that you go businesses that you can do that can be cheaper than other businesses. You generate business ideas by thinking about how you can be better, how you can be cheaper than the, the businesses that, has, that are already operating in that sector by your business. Another way that you can um, use, another way to generate business ideas is you solving a problem that your customers care about. Start by thinking about what significant problems you could solve and how to solve this problem. Many successful companies started out on a mission to solve real problems that affect millions of people and provide a solution through their products and services. An example is Tesla. We use petrol, diesel to fuel our car. Tesla came and brought in electric and they started making electric cars so that we don't pollute the, the environment. And from there, they have grown. They have grown into a successful multi-billion dollar business in the process of thinking about and solving the problems customers have. So think about or generate business, business ideas that think about what your customers or, or, or the people are struggling with and bring a solution and generate businesses, business ideas from there. Another way that you can generate business idea is by building a business for a future need or a future market. Try to think into the future. What will the future be in 10 years time? Think about the future. When you do this, you think about new markets and niches that may open due to innovations and new technologies. If you're a parent and you have children, when they come up and they say they want to download this, they want to they want to join or they do download it as well. Be their friend on it, learn from it, and see how you can incorporate that into your business or how you can bring out ideas or evolve the one that you already the business that you're already doing, make it better by using technology or bring or generate new business ideas by thinking and building on the future needs and the future markets. When you do this, you are able to generate business ideas 
moving forward. Another way that you can generate business ideas is by identifying where you provide a better solution. Look for areas where solutions are already available, but you can do better than the existing companies, either through efficiency, innovation, or cost. For example, Apple entered into the mobile phone market more than a decade ago as an underdog with a new innovative product and are now a market leader. Despite the fact that the technology had been available for years, no one had brought the level of innovation the iPhone did to the market. So think about identifying where you can provide a better solution to what is already on, what is what other people are already doing. And when you do that, you are able to generate business ideas. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe and hit the notification button. That is the bell button below and you get notified when we upload new content. Thank you.